Denise Brewster and Lenny McMullen shared their lives for 15 years, living together for 10 of them. But when Lenny died suddenly, two days after proposing to Denise, she was denied a share of his pension. After an eight-year legal battle, today the UK's highest court ruled Denise has been discriminated against because of her marital status. I had to do this for, for myself and Lenny. And this was as much about me moving on as a person um, and the importance of our relationship to us. Um, and in order for me to move on properly, I had to go down this journey. The case hinged on the filling out of forms. Married couples don't have to complete them, but many public sector pension schemes insist unmarried couples must name the partner to get a survivor's allowance, something Lenny hadn't done. As a result of today's ruling, pensions for nurses, teachers and the police may have to change so they don't discriminate. Good for bereaved partners, potentially expensive for the public sector. It is potentially a hugely important decision because pension schemes haven't funded to pay uh, inherited pensions to unmarried partners. So there is going to be an extra cost and we know that pension schemes are already significantly underfunded and, and there are big deficits. Denise Brewster's solicitor believes private occupational pensions will also have to fall into line. This case was decided under the Human Rights Act and the Human Rights Act doesn't uh, apply to private pension scheme providers. Having said that, you'd expect them to not want to discriminate against their employees who are cohabitees, and so we think that many private scheme providers will also make changes. Lenny's pension will now give Denise some financial security, and the fight she took on after her sudden bereavement has helped secure better rights for many more unmarried couples. Catherine Jones, Five News.